We returned to Mossvale on Sunday, May 3, 2015, to see Australian Railway Historical Society's ACT Division 6029 are waiting for a train organised by the 3801 Limited. The train had arrived from Sydney, which was hauled by newly restored 42-class diesel locomotive 4204 and 45-class loco 4501. The diesel leg of the tour ran from Sydney to Mossvale via the Illawarra line. The two diesel locomotives are now shunted the train via the triangular junction. We will now see 6029 pulling out of the yard after being filled with water and serviced by the crew members. The loco pulls out to be coupled to the train. We will now follow the locomotive and its train heading for Goulburn. This is Wingello.
We now see 6229 pulling into its destination, Goulburn. Goulburn is home to the Goulburn Rail Heritage Centre, situated at the Goulburn Roundhouse, which was saved from demolition by the Goulburn Locomotive Roundhouse Preservation Society. The Rail Heritage Centre houses a museum open to the public with a large collection of rolling stock and various exhibits, as well as privately owned locomotives and carriages. After the paying passengers departed from the train, 6029 will start shunting operations and servicing ready for the return journey. At Tolong Station, 6029 travels back to Mossvale tender first. Then in rainy atmosphere, we see 6029 charging through Bundanoon, which holds its annual Bundanoon is Brigadoon Scottish festivals each year. At Mossvale, 4204 and 4501 await their return trip to Sydney, while 6029 shuts itself through the up Golden Line platform, which we saw earlier this morning.
train works at Thelmere once again host their successful day out with Thomas weekends. Here, 2705 dressed as Donald from the Thomas the Tank Engine stories is seen shunting ready for its first shuttle trip between Sodor to Buxton. Trains on both days were fully sold out. This is Sunday, May 17th, 2015. Next, we see 2705 climbing through Kurijard. Back at Thelmere, CPH Railmotor number 18 dressed as Toby is seen at the station to take passengers to take to the Great Train Hall exhibit. Of course, it's not a day out without the star himself. Thomas the Tank Engine, or for the enthusiasts, 1803 dressed as Thomas. 2015 marks a special year for the brand as it celebrates the 70th anniversary of the first book being published by the Reverend W. Audrey. Meanwhile, miniature rides of Thomas the Tank Engine and James the Red Engine are provided, both owned by Trainworks. Meanwhile, Museum of Arts Applied Science Powerhouse Museums 3830 is seen in the roundhouse being repaired as Donald pulls into the station with its first run. Then we see Donald pulling out of Sodor Station with its second load of passengers.
After the train had gone, Toby now takes his own passengers to the Great Train Hall. We will now conclude this segment with 3642 hauling a train from Sydney, thundering through Douglas Park with a Thelmere flyer. The locomotive will play as Henry for the day, while vintage diesels take the return trip to Sydney later in the day. On Saturday, May 23rd, 2015, we see Lachlan Valley Railways 3237 making its way to Bury to take passengers to the Scottish Celtic Festival. Here we see the 32 class engine at Engadine. We now see the locomotive at Scarborough Station, which was opened to the seaside village in 1887. We now see the locomotive arriving at Dubombo Station. The station holds the distinction of being close to the ocean in Australia. In 1974, a violent storm carried sand and sea from across the railway line and the adjacent Princess Highway into Kiama Cemetery. We now see 3237 travelling on singular track towards its destination, Barry. From Mount Pleasant Lookout, we see the 32 class engine going under Omega Bridge in Jeringong, which was opened to the public on Friday, January 30th, 2015. Prior to the bridge, it was a stretch of road going over a level crossing, which is still there today.
After dropping off passengers at Barry, 3237 now storms its way towards Bombardier for shunting purposes for the return home to Sydney later in the day. When it heads for Sydney, the 32 class engine will take the train tender first between Bombardier to Union Dare, where it will be turned round for the return late smoke box first. Right now, the 32 class locomotive shunts its carriages on a refuge line to make way for a commuter train coming into the station. The 32 class locomotive will then be filled with water ready for the return journey.